Okay. So I'm looking in the sky. There was a overcast earlier today, and uh, the sun is now out. Fortunately, we're in a nice shaded area that makes things more applicable to what we're doing, like sitting here and drinking beer and stuff like that, and not getting uh, like head burn and stuff like that. Um, I uh, decided to flip out and I shaved myself yesterday, like thoroughly. I took a razor. Head to toe? Head to toe. Yes. Oh, I yep. didn't realize that. Oh, yep. okay. I'm, 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 uh, You're totally we're... hairless. Okay. Yep. Uh, sack, I didn't screw around too much because too much, it's kind of, you, you know, you, you get into the razor thing and it kind of, you start cutting your, your, your sack. Yeah. So I kind of stayed away from that. Uh, but other than that, everything head to toe. I, I, I took a shaver, electric one, and then I came with the razor afterwards and came out of nowhere. I've never done this before. And, um, How are so you that, feeling? Oh great! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's more like a silver surfer kind of yeah. thing. You know, <laughs> more aerodynamic. You know. I noticed yesterday though that I, I, because I did it yesterday, I missed like a couple of patches here and there. Yeah. <laughs> you you know? brought back uh, high you know, life. Like what's you know, wrong with like, you? Like, you know, more power cells, a couple of beers in me at home. Like, okay, I gotta cooking food and stuff like that. Okay, fine. I'm gonna let this settle a little bit and do this thing. Anyway, getting back to the Sam's what we're talking plans. about, uh, which is the bear wolf. Um, that there's, uh, we're at Dundee, Wisconsin, Northern Kettle Moraine area. You state your name, please. Uh, my name is Ken Keen. This is Chris Borchart. Uh, Men at uh, Arms. Okay. And what do you plan to do? Not much better, but. Uh, so you plan to find this creature? You want to. Well, um, here's, here's, here's the thing is that, you know, I'm just a dude or dudes that, that, um, Heard about the uh, sightings and stuff like that, found it intriguing, mm -hmm. and thought, hey, let, let's try to really see if this thing exists without like zillions of dollars. So I think to myself, I think to myself, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm not a hunter. I went deer hunting twice and, and blah, blah, blah. I'm not a hunter or a tracker. So I'm thinking to myself, nice. then I have to find people. Chris, nice. Good night. <laughs> Oh, oh, trust me, if we go to my house, we're going to find weapons. Anyways. No, <laughs> no, we have a knife I could use. Yeah, and him. Oh. He needs a knife to uh, <laughs> shotgun his beer. Yeah. I didn't grab good. mine out of there. It's my keys are in. Thank you, sir. It's in the car. So, um, uh, Chuck's going to do a shotgun. That's the reason for the knife. And you are the four God has chosen to be his angels <laughs> in I don't know if I can hit that. Yeah. What? Drink my sweet holy wine. <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful. Anyways, um. So, again, my whole analogy on a thing is that I think that something like a bear wolf or a sasquatch, whatever, can exist. No. From the stamp science standpoint, of there's trillions of dollars out there, and people, you know, do things with their money. They play around to just because they like it as a hobby, or they're trying to, uh, you know, make some cash off or whatever. But there's a lot of that out there. So, to me, uh, with the sightings and all that stuff, I'm like, okay, let's try to figure it out. I'm like, okay, I'm basically going into um, the whole scenario. Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get enrolled and get my PhD in psychiatry. Yeah, anyway, so is the whole thing is that. I think it can exist yeah. because yeah, of the, the amount of money well, out there and people just do their thing. Um, you create something, so whether it's a bear wolf, sasquatch, man wolf, time, it can't right? um, yeah. uh, procreate, uh, yeah. it's been yeah. very yeah. docile yeah. in captivity. Yeah. So they release it out to hundreds of acres, thousands of acres of land in the northern Catamaran area. There's probably all over the world this is being going on with different varieties of things. So. I'm on thinking that world, they just, the you know, you pop seen. one out here it's in the northern Cameroon area and they watch it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's probably not going to kill anybody. It's very can intelligent. I, I, wants to stay I, away from I, people. Can uh, I interject? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, I believe Ken is catching wrong on that. He feels it's a manufactured. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I don't just feel that. I'm just saying that's one of the possibilities in my mind. Go ahead. You always bring that up. Yes, yes. I think it's totally natural. I really think the CIA. Um, Somebody tells them exists. Think, um, all the other things is very like, say, reclusive. Everything, you get time for that kind of stuff. Very right. it, hard to you know, spot. I've been visited by the men in black. Go out and look for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, oh. 
It's like um, something like wrong with your faith. It doesn't yeah. have a yeah, cigarette it's in it. It's a catch-all. It's a catch-all. So you think you, like think, you think that this is a uh, somewhat related to man by any chance, like uh, yeah. kind of like a crow Magden man? I think you say, or, no? you say it's, no? it's more it's more natural. Okay. No, I think it's a, a derivative. You, you think it's related to Gigantopithecus or no? I no. Think it's a derivative. Of, yeah. Of, of um. You know, right? Uh, large mammal. Okay. So, well, do you have uh, anything else to say? Anything else to add? Do you have anything else to add or say? No, I don't. I don't. I, I just had to disagree with Ken. How about you, Ken? Anything else to say before we close off? Well, I think off? what he's saying is, is, is plausible because I personally think that anything's possible mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, I am uh, into the Jesus fashion as a bit of a you know drinker and stuff like that. But um, I do, from a science standpoint, I think really you know anything really is possible. I believe in the Jedi trade and all kinds of stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think uh, Chris's theory is applicable, and I think that's a very uh, avid uh, possibility as well. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but the bottom line is, regardless of uh, both of our theories, what do you do when you're, you know, not a zillionaire and you want to check that out? Way especially since my life you know we're, we're living here. Yeah. You know. So. If you drink it slowly, like. So. Uh, I plan to contact. Check. Check it out. I plan to contact local hunters like Randy that own some land. Perhaps maybe they have their own, um, you know, cameras set up to track deer or whatever. Sure. You know, infrared stuff already, you know, uh, would be nice. Yeah. Uh, snowmobiles. I mean, does it hibernate? It. Right. It is. Uh, there's all these questions. And I just want to go out into the field and try to figure this out for ourselves. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna sign off here. So you want to say bye bye to the camera? <laughs> Well, this is um, we're at uh, uh, Bill Benson's UFO bar on the um, what the heck's the date today? 16th. 16th. Yeah, it's the 16th of July, 2011. Always document the the, the time and date. The time is 4:50. 4:50. And you document that, and then there you have it. Any uh, other yeah, questions or comments? We can go to it another time. Where's my girlfriend? Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Where's my girlfriend at? Can you uh, abstract some kind of uh, uh, bear wolf kind of women to come hang out with us and drink beer? <laughs> I do not know of any. Sorry. I'm on low power, so I can't. You know. Yeah. Uh, so. All right. Thanks, man. Where's the Margaret? <laughs> There's a beast in the lake. Oh.